There's nothing I hate more than another pirate trying to get my data. They know it's worth more than gold itself. I, I have an idea. I'm going to implement secure snaps in Prism Central. Let's take a look. Nutanix snapshots are immutable, meaning that once the snapshot is created, you can't change the snapshot. But what that doesn't prevent are rogue actors trying to delete all of your data along with the snapshots. Here we have a protection policy within Prism Central that's taking local snapshots. We see that this policy says secure. We have already set up an approval policy to protect the snapshots from being accidentally deleted. Now let's go take a look at our protection policy. A simple protection policy just taking local snapshots with an RPO of every hour. It'll take a snapshot, retaining 20 of them. Uh, we could change this, but we're going just to leave it for this example. Now we see here we have a warning saying that any snapshots that get deleted outside of the schedule will need approval. So we're using our Acme Protect app and web categories. So any virtual machines inside this category are going to be protected by this approval policy. So we'll hit cancel. Now, before you can go use the approval policy, you'll have to go into the admin center settings. You'd have to deploy this policy engine. We already have it deployed. It deploys a single virtual machine that will run the policy engine for you. Here is a screenshot of the enablement. So you would supply an IP address within the same range as your Prism Central and deploy the virtual machine. And you can see the requirements listed here. Let's pop back into our Prism Central. So the other requirement is setting up a relay. So you'd have to have a relay server as the approval policy is going to send emails to the people on the approval list. You can use local IM accounts to Prism Central, or if you have Active Directory set up, you can use those as well. So if we go back into our infrastructure menu, and then go to our approval policy, we see that we have one already created called Map to the Treasure. So if we go on Manage Secure Entities, we see that we have this approval policy with one approver set. You can actually have two. So in this case, all three people will have to approve the deletion of a snapshot outside of the policy before it will be Arr, deleted. And here you can list your protection policies. We only have one protected, but it's our local snapshot policy. We'll hit cancel. Now, if we take a look at updating the approval policy, we could change the name. Even changing the name will require approval to trigger. So we'll hit next. Now here we have our first set of approvers under gold mine, which we have a flow user, which is just an admin account my account and one of my coworkers' account to approve the deletion of any snapshots. We could add a second set of approvers. If we add a second set, the first set needs to be all approved and then it will go on to the second set. So we'll cancel here. Now, if we take a look at some of the requests that have happened, we have no pending requests, but if we look at reviewed, we can see that we have one for deleting, where all three people approved. And we also have a name change that we had keys to the castle. We changed it to map the treasure, but that also needed an approval. So that also was sent off. Now let's go into our virtual machine and try to delete a snapshot. So we go into virtual machines. We'll search by our category that is protected category acme app so here are two virtual machines that are protected by the approval policy 
If we go into this trade show virtual machine and look at the recovery point, we can see we have two snapshots that are currently being protected. This means that these snapshots were created outside of our protection policy. We'll try to delete this one. Delete. It's asking, are we sure? This recovery point is secured by an approval policy. It'll be deleted once it's approved. Hit delete. And so now, since we have a relay set up, it's going to email that policy to us. So if I switch over to my email, we have an email from the deletion of that request. So I'm logged in with the flow user. Now I need to go back into Prism Central, approve with my user and get my buddy Ump to also approve the deletion request. Now back on <clears throat> Prism Central, go to the approval policy, my requests. I have one pending. So I will log out and log in with my own account. I will go to the approval policy. I have one approval. I will go ahead and review the request. Approve. Now I have to go and still get my buddy Ump and go back in with the admin user. And so I'll sign out in with my flow user account. Click on approvals. Review the request, approve. So now we just have to wait for um, to do the approval and then the snapshot will be deleted. Let's send Ump a Slack and see if he can approve the request. Just like in real life, when email doesn't work, you Slack them. Multiple modes of annoyance. Well, it looks like Mike's gonna do it so we can check back into our Prism Central. Now, if we look at all of the reviewed requests, we see that we have the last one here. All three have been approved. If we take a look at our virtual machines, we can go back and look at that same set. Go into trade show, recovery points, and we only have the one listed. And now our snapshots are even more secure than before. Arr, now let me dot is safe. I can go off plundering looking for more. Well, you should take a Nutanix test drive and see what we can do for you. See you in the next video.